Hi, I'm back. I'll be reading from Our Daily Bread for January 8th, 2021. God of the Invisible, Jane Banks. God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown him. As you have helped his people, Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people and continue to help them. Read John chapter 1, verses 35 to 42. The next day John was there again, again with two of his disciples. When he saw Jesus passing by, he said, Look, the Lamb of God. When the two disciples heard him say this, they followed Jesus, turning around, Jesus saw them following, and asked, What do you want? They said, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? Come, he replied, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying, and they spent that day with him. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, was one of the two who heard what John had said and who had followed Jesus. The first thing Andrew did was to find his brother Simon and tell him, We have found the Messiah, that is, the Christ. And he, and he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You will you will be called C-E-P-H-A-S, which, when translated, is Peter. Bible in the year, Genesis, chapters 20 to 22. Abraham deceased, A-B-I-M-E-L-E-C-H. Abraham moved to the N-E-G-E-V and settled between K-D-S-H and S-H-U-R. While he was living in G-E-R-A-R, Abraham told everyone that his wife Sarah was his, was his sister. So King A-B-I-M-E-L-E-C-H of G-E-R-A-R sent men to take Sarah. God came to A-B-I-M-E-L-E-C-H. E C H in a dream one night and said to him, You are going to die because of the woman that you are taken. She's a married woman. A B I M E L E C H had to come near us, so he asked, Lord, will, will you destroy your nation even if it's innocent? Didn't he tell me himself she's my sister? And didn't she even say he's my brother? I did this in all in all innocence and with a clear conscience. Yes, I know that, that you did this with a clear conscience, God said to him in the dream. In fact, I kept you from sinning against me. That's why I didn't let, let you touch her. Give the man's wife, wife back to him now, because he's a prophet. He will pray for you, and you will live. But if you don't give her back, you and all who belong to you are doomed to die. Early in the morning, A-B-I-M, E-L-E-C-H, called together all his officials. He told them about all of this, and they were terrified. Then A-B-I-M, E-L-E-C-H, called for Abraham and asked him, What have you done, done, to, oh, done to us? How, how have I sinned against you that, that you would bring such a serious sin on me and my kingdom? You, you shouldn't have done this to me. A-B-I-M-E-L-E-C-H, also as Abraham, what were you thinking when you did this? Abraham said, I thought that because there are no, there are no God-fearing people in this place, I'd be killed because of my wife. Besides, she is my sister, my, my father's daughter, but not my mother's. She is also my wife. When God had me leave my father's home and travel around, I said to her, do me a favor, wherever we go, say that I'm your brother. Then A-B-I-M, E-L-E-C-H, took sheep, cattle, and male, and female slaves, and gave them to Abraham. He also gave his wife Sarah back, back to him. A-B-I-M, E-L-E-C-H, said, look, here's my land, live anywhere you like. He said to Sarah, don't forget 
Don't forget, uh, I have given your brother 25 pounds of silver. This is to silence any criticism against you from every, from, 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 from everyone with you. You are completely cleared. Abraham prayed to God, and God healed Abim, Elec, his wife, and his female slaves so that they could have children. The Lord had, 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 had made it impossible for any woman in Abim, Elec, his brother's household to have children. Because of Abraham's wife, Sarah. Sarah. God provides for Hagar and Ishmael. Genesis chapter 21. The Lord came The Lord came to help Sarah and did for her what he had promised. So she became pregnant, and at the exact time God had promised, she gave birth to a son for Abraham in his old age. Abraham named his newborn son Isaac. When Isaac was eight days old, Abraham circumcised him as God had commanded. Abraham was 100 years old when his son Isaac was born. Sarah said, God has, God has brought me left, and everyone who hears about this will laugh with me. Who would have predicted to Abraham that Sarah would not children? Yet I have, yet. I had given him a son in his old age. The child grew and was weaned. On the day Isaac was weaned, Abraham held a big feast. Sarah saw that Abraham's son, by Hagar the Egyptian, was laughing, at, was laughing at Isaac. She said to Abraham, Get rid of this slave and her son, because this, because this slave's son must never share the inheritance with my, with my son Isaac. Abraham was upset. By this, because of his son Ishmael, but God said to Abraham, "Don't be upset about the, about the boy and your slave. Listen to what Sarah says. Because do Isaac, your descendants will carry on, will carry on your name. Besides, I will make the slave's son into a nation also, because he is your child. Because he is your child. Only the next morning, Abraham took bread and a container of water and gave them to Hagar." Putting them on her shoulder, he also gave her the boy and sent her on her way. So she left and wandered around in the desert now. B E E R S E G B A. When the water in the container was gone, she put the boy under one of the bushes. Then she went up, went about as far as far away uh, as near can be can be shot and sat down. She said to herself, "I don't want to watch the boy die." So she sat down and sobbed loudly. God heard the boy crying, and the messenger of God called to Hagar. From heaven, what's the matter, Hagar? He asked. Don't be afraid. God has God has heard the boy crying from the bushes. Come on, help the boy up. Take him by the hand, because I am going to make him into a great nation. God opened her eyes, and she saw well. She filled the container with water and gave, and gave the boy a drink. God was with the boy as he grew up. He lived in the desert and became a skillful archer. He lived in the desert of P-A-R-A-N and his mother got him a wife from Egypt. From Egypt. Abraham's agreement with A-B-I-M-E-L-E-C-H. At that time, A-B-I-M-E-L-E-C-H accompanied, accompanied by P H I C O L, the commander of, of his army said to Abraham, God is with you in everything you do. Now swear an oath to me here in front of God that you will that you will never that you will never treat me, my children, or my descendants. Show me show me and, and the land where you where you have been, been been living the same kindness that I that I have shown you. Abraham said I so swear. Then Abraham complained to A B I M E L E C H about a well, which A B I M E L E C H Professor's servants had had seized. A B I M E L E C H replied, "I don't know who did this. You didn't tell me, and I didn't, and I didn't hear about it until today." Abraham took some sheep and cattle and gave them to A B I M E L E C H, and the two of them made. An agreement. Then Abraham set apart seven female lambs from from the from the from the flock 
A, B, I, M, E, L, E, C, H, S, M. What is the meaning of these seven female lambs you have set apart? Abraham answered, Accept these lambs from me so that, so that they, they, they may be proved that I dug this well. That is why that place is called B, E, E, R, S, H, G, B, A, because, because. Both of them swore an oath there after they made the treaty at B E E R S E G P A A B I M E L E C H and P H I C O L. The commander of his army left and went back to the land of the Philistines. Abraham planted a T A M A R I S K tree at B E E R S E G P A and worshipped the Lord, the the, the everlasting God there. Abraham, had, Abraham lived a long time in the land of the Philistines. The Philistines. God tests Abraham. Genesis chapter 22. Later God tested Abraham and called to him, Abraham. Yes, here I am, he answered. God said, take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to M-O-R-I-A-H. Sacrifice him there. As a burnt offering on one of the mountains that I will show you only. The next morning, Abraham saddled his donkey. He took with him two, two of his servants and his son Isaac. When he had cut the wood for the burnt offering, he, he, he set out for the place that God had told him about. Two days later, Abraham saw, saw the place in the distance. And Abraham said to his servants, you stay here. With the donkey, while, while the boy and I go over there, we will worship. After that, we will we will come back to you. Then Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and gave it to to his son Isaac. Abraham carried the burning coals on the knife. The two of them went on together. Isaac spoke up and said, Father, yes, son, Abraham answered. Isaac asked, we have the burning coals on the wood, but where is... But where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham answered, God will provide a lamb for the burnt offering. Son, the two of them went on together. When they came to the place that God had told them about, Abraham built the altar and arranged the wood on it. Then he tied up his son Isaac and laid him on top of the wood on the altar. Next, Abraham picked up the knife and, and took it in his hand to sacrifice his son with a messenger. Uh, the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. Yes, he answered, do not lay a hand on the boy, he said. Do not do anything to him. Now I know that you fear God because you did not refuse to give me your son, your only son. When Abraham looked around, he saw a ram behind him caught by its horns in a bush. So Abraham took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering in place. Of his son Abraham named that place the Lord will provide it it is it is still 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 said today on the mountain of the Lord it will be provided the Lord's seventh promise to Abraham then the messenger of the Lord called to Abraham from heaven a second time and said I am taking an oath, an oath. On, on my own name declares the Lord that because you have done this and have not refused to give me your son, your only son, I will certainly bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and the grains of sand on the seashore. Your descendants will take possession of the enemy cities. Through your descendants, all the, all the nations of the earth will be blessed because you have obeyed me. Then Abraham returned to his servants, and together they left for B-E-E-R-S-H-E-B-A. Abraham remained in B E E R S H E B A. Abraham learns of N A H O Apotheosis descendants. Later, Abraham was told M I L C A H has given birth to these to these children uh, of your brother N A H O R U Z the firstborn B U Z his brother K E M U E L father of A R A M. K E S E D H A Z O P I L D A S H J A D L A P H and B E T H U E L B E T H U E L is the father uh, of Rebecca. M I L C H had the had these eight sons by, by Abraham's brother N A H O R 
NHR Professor's concubine, whose name was R-E-U-M-A-H, uh, had the following children, T-B-A-H, G-A-H-A-M, T-A-H-A-S-H, and M-A-A-C-A-H. Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 to 34, True Witches. Start storing up treasures for yourselves and earth where moths and rust and rust destroy and thieves break in and steal. Instead, store up treasures for yourselves and heaven where moths and rust don't destroy and thieves don't break in and steal. Your heart will, will be where your treasure is. The eye is the lamp of the body. So if your eye is unclouded, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is evil, your whole body will be full of darkness. If the light in you is darkness, how dark it will be. No one can serve two masters. He will hate, he will hate the first master and love, and love the second. And that the second, or, or he, will be devoted to the first and despise the second. You cannot serve God and wealth. And wealth. Stop worrying. Luke chapter 12, verses 22 to 34. So I tell you to stop worrying about what you will eat, drink, or wear. Isn't life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds. They don't plant harvests or gather the harvest into barns. Yet, your heavenly Father feeds them. Aren't you worth more than they? Can any of you add a single hour to, the li to your life by worrying? And why worry about clothes? Notice how the flowers grow in the in the field. They they never work or, or spin yard for clothes. But I say that not even Solomon in all his majesty was dressed like one of these flowers. That's the way God clothes the grass in the field. Today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into an incinerator. So how much so how much more will he clothe you people who have so little faith? Don't ever worry and say. What are we going to eat, or what are we going to drink, or what are we going to wear? Everyone is concerned about these things, and and your heavenly Father, Father, certainly knows you need all of them. But first, be concerned about His kingdom and what has His approval. Then all these things will be provided for you. For you, so don't so don't ever worry about tomorrow. After all, tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Sometimes I feel as if I'm invisible, but I, but I so want God to use me. A N N N. What I mean up the exercise room at the hotel I was visiting when we struck up a conversation. As we talked, I discovered she had. An amazing story. I used to be a crack addict and prostitute living on the streets, she said, but I knew God want, wanted, me, wanted me to put down my pipe and walk with him one day. Years ago, I knelt at Jesus' feet, and he, and he set me free. I thanked A.N.N. for showing what God had done for her and assured her she wasn't invisible. He had used her in an hour conversation in a beautiful way to remind me of his power to transform lives. God loves to use to use to, 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 to use to use people to use people. Other others might overlook the apostle Andrew isn't as well known as his brother Peter, but the Bible recounts that the first thing Andrew did was to find his brother Simon Peter and tell him we have found the Messiah and he brought him to Jesus. John chapter 1 verses 41 to 42. Peter met Jesus through Andrew. When Andrew, one of, one of John the Baptist's disciples, learned about Jesus from John, he followed Jesus and believed and immediately told his brother Andrew's quiet, quiet, quiet faithfulness and immediately told his brother Andrew's quiet faithfulness had an impact that would shake the world. God val God values faithful service over fame. He can he can use us powerfully wherever we are, even when no one 
is looking whose quiet faithfulness made a difference in, in your life. In your life, how can you you serve God by serving someone else today? Thank you for never overlooking me, Father. I'm thankful you can use me to make a difference wherever I am. Okay, that's all. Bye.